they want the yes hook. I will not give you the yes hook. No. All of his drips, they want the no. Gotta wait for them answers. What's going on, everybody? Six views, T.O. uncut. We back again. Uncut, 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 uncut. uncut. Your boy Gutsy Guts. With the best. I can't even call you a co-host. You're you're the host. I'm not. I'm not. I am not. I'm just a regular person sitting here having a conversation. Um, <laughs> savvy the ghost in the building. Ah, 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 ah. I'm tired. I'm really sorry. You look I'm like tired. the new do. Don't kill me. You know, fresh eyes for the weekend. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I feel about it yet. You don't know how you feel about it. What does it take a couple of days for you girls? Like when you get your hair cut or your your style and you're just like, hmm, I got to go out first. I got to put it together with an outfit and everything. <laughs> well, maybe that's what it is, though. It could be that. I'm not going to lie. It could be that I need to, like, put my makeup on and see how I feel about it. But I don't know how I feel yet. It's been a long time since I had, like, actual, like, bangs. Don't kill you me. Know? So I don't know. You know, I'm just, I'm getting used to it. So I got my hoodie on. I don't know. Stop this. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Stop this. You know you been? Uh, been a, it's been a crazy week, man. Great. Um, I've been good. I can't complain me myself, but my city's been going through it. The world's been going through it. The music industry's been going through it. I mean, damn. Black people have really been going through it. <laughs> 100%. I agree with that. I agree. But yeah, other than that... Um, can't complain. Uh, big up, like of course, the essential workers, um, like yourself. Um, oh, appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> uh, big up the squad, Wheel of Hip Hop. Uh, those guys over there, uh, Friday Ricky Dread, uh, PK Herx. Uh, Ricky. Really, I was gonna say the others, <laughs> Gucci Gang, yeah. Empress, Six Views. And yeah, anybody that supports uh, Six Views T.O., we love hip-hop, Guts Guts, Savvy the Ghost, you don't know. And uh, also, again, big up Luna, so lay with that six list, which mm-hmm. I, I give her a lot. Um, I rate her for that, for the creativity, because we were having a little interview on her Insta Live, and she just flipped that into a tune. And I was like, yo, bro, that's dope. It was so dope, I had to actually take the song from her. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I had to, bro. but it's fire. It's good. I'm, I'm, I'm. I like to see things like that. It's very creative. I like the creativity that she brought with that. So I appreciate it. Shout out for that. And price, I can't deal with all these mentions, fam. Luna too. Like I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'm, I'm brand new to this whole being popping thing. I'm not really popping like that, but just getting attention. These mentions are getting out of control. But yeah, any shout outs on your side? Stop tagging me. <laughs> I was like, guys, the last time I posted an actual picture on Instagram, if you look at the date from that last post, it's like 2018. Don't add. Grace, uh, come on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I don't know what you want me to do with these things. I try to post them in my story and stuff. I barely know how to use Instagram as is. Give me a chance. <laughs> But if you tag me in something and I don't repost it, don't think I didn't see it. I probably just don't know what to do. I apologize. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Like ting, man. It's not a diss thing. I just probably don't know what to do. I hear that. Any shout outs though? Um, Human House of Herbs. Uh-huh. Um, Anybody that has an at-home business, support them. Okay. It might be a little bit expensive. It might be out of your budget or whatever. But if they're at home, support the business that they have. It's actually a big deal. I think it's just something that you should do. Try to support locally. Um, They need it too. Word. Word. Support Support anybody. Most black businesses Mm -hmm. that are proper professional and yeah all those at-home businesses any businesses in general man free it's a hard time all 
100%. But um, let's just get into it, B. Um, ah, we already spoke about this earlier this week, but RIP Houdini, unfortunately, another not just rapper, but black man died, census gun violence. Um, there's, there's another person that died as well, right? Yes. Yeah, um, or them two. I, I don't Regis. And I, can't, I can't remember her last name. I'm so sorry. Um, just to touch on that quick fast, um, not to take away from Houdini, because I'd like to get back to that for a second. Um, there always seems to be a problem when it comes to like someone with like mental health in Toronto police. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you're there to, you get called to de-escalate a situation and then somebody ends up dying. No good. It doesn't look good. It doesn't sound good. It don't feel good. Justice yeah. for Regis, basically, like like the hashtag says, justice for Regis, because you need to know what happened in a situation like that. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's for real. Just, that's just what it is. You know you what I mean? A bit of it um, before we started recording. Mm-hmm. What like? Isn't there like a policing for that too? Like the mental health people, like aren't they supposed to get called in like a certain kind of police? Like that's so sticky. Because when you mentioned it to me, I, I wasn't even thinking about it like that. And then yeah. when you mentioned, it, I was like, damn, there has been like in Canada more times the police brutality is with somebody with mental illness, bro. Like no, like I'm not taking anything away from the police brutality to black people. But that's to me that's kind of worse. And when you think about it, and double the double 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 whammy, this this woman is also of color, right? So that doesn't look good. So my condolences to her family. Um, we love hip hop alumni. Um, my condolences. Keep your head up. Hopefully, you guys find justice and peace, and the answers that you're looking for um, for the situation that's at hand. For real, condolences, condolences. Um, Back, back to Houdini, yeah. quick fast, right? So a lot of people have been talking about this video. Like I ch- well, went out to earlier today um, mm-hmm. to visit my sister or whatever. I was talking about it with my cousin on my way. And he was like, he watched the video and he was giving me a play-by-play because I was like, I don't want to watch it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to watch it. I want to give it any type of light in that manner. Um, but he was explaining it to me and it doesn't sound good. No, it's not good. Period. It doesn't sound good. Like it sounds, it sounds a little sus- suspect to me. And I didn't watch it. And remember, man's like Sav is a square, right? You're, you're a square to the public. <laughs> but <Stop>. um, <laughs> yeah, I watched it. I mean, I believe I seen it even when we we're speaking about it uh, um, at the show this Wednesday, but to me, the most thing that bothered me is just the you, man. There was a little you that was in the crosshair of that. And that bugged me because, again, that could have been me with my you. You know what I'm saying? That could have been somebody I know with their you. And it's like, like, these guys are just, they don't care. Like, that wasn't even in their mind. It's just like, yo, we got to make sure, like, nobody gets hit. Or, you know, we got to make sure we just get him. I don't want to make it like glamorize it, but they had enough time where they didn't have to get like nobody else could have got hit. Okay. But and also too, <laughs> I've been getting a lot of hate in the comments. I don't know if you read the comments to act like people are saying like, "Oh, this is not about jealousy." This is listen, guys. We're not dry snitching on anybody on these platforms. At least I'm not coming up here and talking certain polys on this. If you guys are hearing this, that commented. On those other videos, I'm not doing that, all right? If you guys know what happened, that's good for you guys. We're not giving the police or anybody else any information. All we're saying that whoever did it, whether it's polys or not, it's whack. It's dumb. It's whack. We got to do better. That's it. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, like I, I went through the comments. Uh, for the for the Weed of Hip Hop video that we dropped, and it was like, yo, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Like, it's not jealousy, it's not hate, it's polys. And we know, bro, we're not idiots. Like, we obviously know, but we're not gonna come out there and be like, yeah, it's polys. It's he's beefing with this or he did that. Why would we do that? Oh, like, okay, it, I understand now. Yeah, That's so 
People are idiot, man. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Honestly, um, and then, sorry, really quick. If we were to do that, then we're like dry snitching. Like, oh, you guys are snitches. You're on there snitching. Like, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. But yeah. Quick fast also. Um, Toronto Sun, whoever posted that on the front of your newspaper, you're a real fool. No that I said that. Sav said that. Me. Cancel your whack ass, bro. Like, editor who let that through, whoever okayed front page, whatever, that was the most disrespectful thing. And you should be ashamed of yourself because that's still a young man. They should He's still a person that had dreams. Everybody that was involved in that, for the son to even allow that to come out, they're whack. Everybody in that building in that, they're whack. And then they did some ass apology. Did you see the apology? Mm-mm. The po- Frig, I wish I had it here, but the apology didn't even have to do with nothing about Houdini. Or the fact that, like, you know what I'm saying? It was something about gang culture and the thing. No, bro. You guys are disrespecting a young black man, regardless of what the reason is. It's just, fun. he died, bro. He's a human. And that's going back to, like, the things that I'm saying to people during this time. is just like, bro, they look at us very different. We could be popping. We could be relevant. We could be, they can be stealing all of our ideas. But the way they look at us, we're still pieces of shit. It's never going to change. No. It's it, it never going to change. It will, but black people got to come together. We got to come together. That's the only way it'll change, but who knows? You're right. It, it will never change. <laughs> but another, sorry. Because I'm like, as much as we try to unite, every time we unite, we look like we're the, we're the negative. No matter what. Like every time they, every time you try to unite in a peaceful way, in a violent way, it doesn't matter. Anytime we try to unite as a people, they always find a way to tarnish it. Yeah, you're right. You're I'm right. like, just a quick segue into that too. Look at what's going on in the States. If you look uh, at all the looting that's happening, you might see a lot of black people outside, but who's really stealing the things? Because a lot of the white people are the ones that are running into the store that are taking actual, actual things. Mm-hmm. Riots happen for white people when you guys win World Series. When your governor doesn't get elected. When you lose when you lose championship games. That's when you tear up your city and riot. Mm. Loot, do all of that stuff. Black people will riot when there's an injustice. But that's a problem. That's it's a problem. Way, but you see back to what I was just saying, you come with a peaceful protest and you're still not heard. I, um, I, I was, I was on the side of the whole like violent protest or well, looting, rioting, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I, I mean, I wasn't on that side because I was like, the places that they were doing it to, I just thought made no sense. <laughs> it's like, yo bro, you're looting like the targets, you're looting the grocery stores, you're looting places that black people are going to need I felt like that part of it was dumb. But then when I seen them doing the precinct, I seen them going to homie's house and stuff like that. I was like, all right, that's what you guys should have, like, that should be the go-to immediately. But this is the thing. They're just on the street. They're not deliberately, I don't know if, like, I the target thing, I don't know exactly how that came about and why that was such, like, huge a huge thing but when you really think about it you're pushing them into a into an area in particular like the police are forcing you in a specific area now mm-hmm. they're on a st- at a standoff you're shooting them with rubber bullets people are trying to get away from it you're just trying to be safe you're trying to protect yourself whatever obviously there's going to be something that goes wrong because people are angry something's going to go wrong however when all of that starts to unleash it's a reaction. It's the action that caused that reaction. And it's just a chain reaction that keeps happening. And I'm not saying that it's right, but it's bound to happen in that crowd of people. You know what I mean? In that crowd of like, in that crowd, it's bound to happen that something's going to break. And when something breaks, I'm just, they're going to end up fucking something up because you're trying to make a point and you're not being heard with just a simple conversation. And that's why it's getting to this point where it's like, who cares about your businesses? We might as well tear it apart. Yep. Uh, yo, I knew this was serious when I seen these motherfuckers start hit, hitting back. I seen them throwing fireworks. 
I seen them boxing up police, like defusing police. I think now it's just like, yeah, now we're fed up. Yeah. Like now, now we'll really do stuff to you guys and we'll lose lives physically too if we got to do it during protest just to kind of prove a point now. And, and it's got to be, it's like the law's got to change. Something's got to change over there, man. Mm-hmm. Like in general, like, <laughs> like all white people and black people got to sit down on one side and it's like, yo, or not even black people and white people. Cops and black people got to sit down and be like, yo, bro, what's y'all beef, bro? We're not really that scary. But to an extent, I kind of understand. I don't, but I do. People look at me like all the time and they always tell me like, yo, bro, you look scary or you look like you're ready to do something. I'm like, bro, like I'm so freaking chill. So it's like perception is everything. It doesn't help that I wear a hoodie. It doesn't help like the way I dress, but it's still like, talk to me, B. I'm chill. I'm cool. I'm loving. I'm gutsy. But that doesn't make people want to talk to you. I'm gutsy. Okay. (laughs) Anyways, um, also, it doesn't help that your president is inciting these, um, these violence, this violent to happen. Because there's no way you could put out a tweet and said, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. What? Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. I'm, imagine if Trudeau said that. Yeah, like, we're going to get like, bl- Here's the, the thing is, Twitter, like, report, like, they actually, one of his tweets is, like, a, a couple of his tweets, but, like, yesterday and today, they, like, they deleted them talking about their, they go against the Twitter guideline. Um, but you're the president of the United States and you're basically telling these people that it's okay for them to use the necessary force against the people that are protesting in this situation. However, when it came to they're upset and protesting because uh, they want to go back outside during this pandemic. Your words were these nice people, but yet as African Americans, black people, um, Latinos, Indians, Native Americans, for any minority in the states, they're considered thugs, and that's okay. Well, just like you said, look who their president is. That's why. America's got to fix up even that's why I was saying even in general like you guys have so much inner problems look who your freaking president is B like first like start on October November when voting is get him out start like start educating your kids bro these parents got to start educating their kids like the teenagers on voting who to get into office laws who's gonna help the black people like all that stuff really needs to get it like we need to really start putting them things into play because it's going to be the same things over and over. Like this ain't going to change unless we change it. And two, we got to stop killing each other because then they're looking at us like, well, you guys don't care about each other. So why should we, and you know what I'm saying? Like you guys fear each other. So we fear y'all too. So we're going to pull out and shoot first. We're going to hold you guys down. We got to do better as a people. I'm saying that until we do that, it won't stop. Honestly, you sound like a little Wayne, and I don't know if I could co-sign what you just said lastly. I'm just saying, don't shoot us in this peaceful protest that we're having. This can be stopped. Like the the girl, very passionate, and Shandy posted it earlier, or Empress posted it on Six Years earlier when she was giving her speech. And I'm like, it can be solved. It's easy to solve it. And all they have to do is charge him. They charged him. Let the people protest. They still want to protest. Let them protest. But what's the issue? Like, what's the problem with it? Because nobody's doing anything. The in LA, I watched them punch a girl in her stomach. Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. The, the black lady. No, the she was not a black lady. That was the thing. It was the black lady. There's I, that's probably a different scene. It was probably at a different point. But I was watching CNN. And they were just standing there watching and they're getting like closer. They're trying to close in the gap between there's two sides that are protesting and they have it barricaded. So they can't like come together, which doesn't make any sense. Cause you might as well just bring the two groups together. So you don't have everybody separated, but whatever. Um, so there, there's basically a space and between them are all the police officers. The police officers are barricading them. So they can't get any further down the street type of thing. Mm. But, they're at the intersection, so you might as well let them take up that block, but whatever. 
Um, so she's standing there, and I guess she's talking to them. I don't know what happens. And the first guy shoves her in. He's like, get back, get back. And then the next guy, like literally you see him come out of like the side of her, and just go bow right in her stomach. And she barely flinches. And then they start pushing her again. And the other girl comes and she stands in front of the other black guy. Cause it looks like he's about to, like, he looks like he's about to get froggy, but I don't blame him for the way that they just punched the lady in her stomach type of thing. So the next girl comes and she stands in front of him and they start pushing her and pushing her. And I'm like, this is actually so disgusting. It is. It's why I watched, I watched the white people get on top of the police car and use their skateboard to try to bust open the window. You know that if that was any any visible minority, they shot you down from off the off the top of that car. He would have been dead. That guy would have been dead or definitely arrested. One one thousand. But, but they were shooting rubber bullets. In the police's defense, they were actually shooting rubber bullets in LA, and I I I respect that. I respect it because you're not using actual bullets to try to kill people. You know what I mean? But I still don't respect it because they're actually really being peaceful. They're standing in front of the police, like the front line of people are standing there with their hands up and saying, hands up, don't shoot. Like what? Okay, so yo. Sorry. Un- nah, it's all right. We're uncut, so we got to get into this. You yes. said you weren't in what I was saying. Why not? Because at the end of the day, fam, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that what they're doing is justified. Like, I'm not saying, oh, because we, we, we kill each other, that that's the reason for them. But don't you feel like, yo, if black people did somewhat more better, if we came together more, that they wouldn't be pulling this shit off as much? What are we, what are we doing to come? What, what, guys? Just what can we do? What are we not doing right now that we can do better at that would change the way that we're being treated? Stop killing, stop killing each other at a high rate. I feel, let, let me give my opinion. I feel like if we stop killing each other, then they'll look at us differently. Some of, them, some of them. And I'm talking about cops. I'm not really talking about regular people. I feel like cops, they have this whole thing like, Yo, these guys are rough. Like, you know, they go at each other rough. So we got to go at them even rougher. And then some of them are, pussy. don't get me wrong. A lot of them, not even some, a lot of them are, pussy. a lot of them got bullied. Niggas probably pined their girls in high school and stuff. So they're like, yo, I'm going to become a cop. And the first nigga I see it's hot. But I just feel like, yo, if we came together more now, I feel like they would be shitting themselves. I feel like they wouldn't come at us as much. Again, my opinion could be, I could be wrong. Could be 1000% wrong. I just feel like. You're not answering my question. Okay. What's your question? What are we not doing now that doesn't say that we are one as a people? What are we not doing? Because you said if we came together, how? What, What is missing? Why aren't they together? What are you referring to in that aspect? I guess I'm referring to gang culture. But Gal, I, if that's that's a problem. That's a mentality. That's a mentality that you're not going to be able to break unless you take that that person out of the hood. That's that. That's like true. Your blinders are on. You know what I mean. So yeah, you might see it and you're like, yeah, I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to get out of it. But if you're in it, okay. What about what about maybe parents or the black community kind of having like law schools or like different things to like teach these kids of how to deal with police, how to like, you know, just how to go about it. Just how to go about, yo, if you ever get stopped, if you ever, whatever, like different ways to just prevent anything from happening. But guts, that's the problem. That's the problem. You can do the right thing and still die. That's true. We watched it happen. Like this is why this is happening in the States right now. That's the problem. It's the fact that you can you can be doing the right thing and still be at fault because of the color of your skin. That's true. And you can't you can't judge every person of color based on what you know about select black people or people of color or whatever. Like you actually can't do that. And I guess that's that's we what it is it. for me. We do it. We just don't kill people. Like 
we'll see certain people and we'll judge them like I don't want to say any stereotypes right now and get messed up, but whatever. We stereotype okay. certain people, but I guess that's the bad stereotype that they have on us and it does suck. And it, yeah, it again too, when I think about it too, it isn't fair because at the end of the day, why should we have to change certain things when we've been through the fucking most out of any fucking race? <laughs> like, right? We're still going through it, but at the same time, remember, we didn't come in violent. We came in as slaves. We didn't come in violent. Mm. Like, the Native Americans that were here and the, the, like, the Native Canadians, they weren't violent. Remember where the violence came from. Nah, you're right. 100% right. And again, man, RIP, man, to, to George Floyd, it's just sad in general, like... RIP any, to anybody who lost their life to police brutality. Yes, everyone. Everyone and anybody. If you lo- if, if you have a loved one that you've lost because of this, it's whack, man. And I hope that... I, I just hope that you guys can just try and get through it. That's it. Because this shit is hard. Losing someone and then losing someone to somebody that's supposed to be protecting you is even worse. But... Let's get off this um, whole... Do you have any last thoughts, actually, on this whole thing? Honestly, you just stay safe. If you're going to go to any protest... Um, oh, there was a protest for Regis today also. Sorry, I, I think I mentioned that, but I'm not sure. But if you're going to go to any protest, remember that there's still a pandemic outside. So mask up if you can. Make sure like you're keeping as distant as you can. You know what I mean? Try to stay as safe as possible while you're doing this. Um, and also just try to keep your life. Word. Word. Same. Uh, let's get into some topics really quick. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got one right here. Black China. I guess it's Black China's featured in an OnlyFans docuseries on Zeus. Interesting. OnlyFans, OnlyFans is bubbling right now, man. I'm telling you. Uh, we, we were it watching. Is. What do you think? I, I, it is like it is. I'm like, I need to figure it out. Mm-mm-mm. I'm like, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars a month. Like, I want to make that right, but at the same time, Maz is not trying to be in the sex industry like that. But hello, you have to figure that out. That's crazy. A hundred grand is out to be made. Okay, I got. I got a few things on this because one, I seen a couple of people do like reaction to people's OnlyFans, right? And I seen a couple of the reactions to Black Chinas and Black Chinas is a finesse. Pretty much you're seeing videos and pictures that you would see on Snapchat and Instagram, but you're just paying for it. Mm, Yeah, true. Well, she is catering to the people with foot, foot fetishes as per the article that I read. So. (laughs) <laughs> and it's $50 a month, so. That's a change, fam. Like you get 100 people subscribed, woo! End of the year, you're good. You're balling. You're not balling, but you're nice. Actually, don't kill me. That's how you're feeling? <laughs> That's how I feel. But yeah. The finesse, though, like, come on, bro. We've seen this with Crazy Latino. We're seeing this now with Black China. Like, why not finesse a thing for, like, I'll even do 25, 30 bucks and tell people, yo, fam, I'm giving you a bunch of of the most disgusting things ever, and I'm showing you, like, probably, like, my cat's doing it or something. Like, <laughs> like yeah. They're so trash. That's so terrible. Like, why not? But you see, the celebrities, the celebrities are on it. Like, there's more than just Black China. There's some other people that I found in the list. And I was like, I don't even know who half these people are. You know what I mean? But they're popular, you know? Like, they're popular people. Like, people know them. Um, Who else has one that's popular? I know Safari and his, his wife. Yeah, I believe, I believe. I don't know if it's together. No, they both have one separately. So his is twenty ninety nine, and her, I think his is twenty two ninety nine a month. Or 
twenty nine no twenty two ninety nine a month, and hers is twenty nine ninety nine a month. Mm-mm. You know. I told you I was. I had to look it up. I had to know what I was talking about today. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta be, you gotta be ready. So I'm looking at some celebrity only fans, and the first one that pops up is Black China. Of course, she was first, but she wasn't. Oh, Casanova also. Yeah, Cash has one, but I he, haven't. He heard. He I heard that they can buy, the girls are buying houses off of the money they were making on OnlyFans, and he was like, I'm on it. Mm-mm. Yo, I would do it still, I'm not gonna lie. That's what he but said, bro. Why is it, why is it like, yo, if, if, if like as an artist, like they're pretty much saying, like, even though Safari's so been done, they're saying like he can't do anything music wise now. Like music is just not gonna accept him because he's pretty much porn industry and it's like why is that like why if you make sense in industry do they like cut you off of like the main the main business like why can't you be in the sex industry and still do like uh james cameron movie or something or like you know what i'm saying like i don't why can't so I do be they in- cancel the dream but his is a little bit different because i don't think he's in it i think it's like it's sex stuff to promote his music. Right. But he was having them do that on the page. Like he's having, he had only fan models come to do like performances to his songs and fans and videos that he can post on the only fan page, whether it was free or not, he's still promoting that on only fan. So why is that okay? But that's what I'm saying. He could, it's just the same thing like Snoop Dogg and little John. They did like, their own little porno thing and they never got like you know blackball nothing like that but like safaris came out with like freaking mold for his piece and shit bro like you know what i'm saying like yeah as far as got mold for his piece and all that so it's like they're looking at him like yo i'm gonna look that up too and i think i think he's probably back safari he's probably made more money off the sex industry than the music industry that okay. excuse take nikki out the 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 equation and he's probably made more money from the sex industry than music so it's like to them it's just like yo we don't rock with you like it's been that way forever like if you do the sex industry if you do anything with the sex you can't come over to us that doesn't make sense because it goes hand in hand that's what i'm saying like i don't understand that like think about it have there have there ever been, ah, has there ever been like a big porn star crossover to like rap or anything like that there's never been anything like that and it's like that's not no, fair they already rap that's the thing like they all want to be rappers you know shout out brian pumper shout out um my boy wesley Pike. Rico, no okay well we go strong he's a real he raps too yes he did yes people are gonna be like who are people do your research stars. <laughs> do your research I'm like, you said Wesley Pipes, and I said, oh, no. Most talkative dude ever. Just shut the fuck up. Like, (laughs) shut the fuck up. The the video just popped in my head. But yeah, I just think that's not fair still. I'm just like, nah. No respects, but yeah. But yeah, I guess, yeah. Only fans, man. Shout out to you guys. Um, I need to make a page. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got a story or oh there was something damn it hey shout out versus mm. no stop stop it's oh yeah that's it a... <laughs> seriously oh, seriously yeah. seriously history Amazing. Okay. Guts is still a hater, but it was amazing. Who won? To be honest, if I had to pick because I'm biased, I picked Bounty Killer, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Here's Mm -hmm. the thing, you know? I understand why people are saying that there can't be a winner, it's for the culture type of thing. I don't understand. Beanie gave it to me, so I can't that's what my that's what the problem is you're biased you know <laughs> it is yeah. biased and you pick one 
but Beauty Man gave me what I wanted, but Bone Tequila gave me like a whole life concert and I was with it. <laughs> and so did he. So it was fire. And that's why it was just amazing. Like it was actually so great. 3.97 million people actually watched it. I heard it had like how on many? that day, like on that day, three point. That's oh, crazy. Okay. Say it again. It had like a, a whole bunch of like mentions and like reposts. It was like it yeah, it was the best one. It was the best one. It was the best day in like 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 the most streamed verses since since they started. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's that's big because obviously Swiss Beats and Timberland, that one was pretty big. That was huge to me. Um, Babyface yeah, and in one was was big too. Lil John N. T Pain. They had like I a missed that one. They had like an earlier one I thought that was big and obviously like the Nelly and Ludacris. But I think I think oh, I, don't forget to Teddy Riley and Babyface because it was actually really good when it happened. Yeah. I think them two would have been the biggest one, excluding this one. But I think, like, <laughs> my opinion, I just, oh, F it. I just feel like reggae has, dancehall music is just like party music, bro. So, like, it's always getting played at a party. You know what I'm saying? Babyface and Teddy Riley songs, unless you know somebody wrote that, you're not always hearing those songs at a party. But there were still 500,000 people that watched it. Pardon? But there were still 500,000 people that watched it. Yeah, because it was dope. Like, you had two icons of their era. Two people that you wouldn't think that would have did something like that, too, right? Babyface and Teddy Riley, I don't think it was... Like, there was no real beat. I think when people, like, when music heads... And I didn't understand, like, Americans knew music like that. Because when certain people and I heard when they were saying, like, yo, these two coming together doing that, like, this is a big thing for reggae. And if you know their history, I was like, what the hell do you guys know about their history? Like, just chill. But then but finding out... In Swiss Beats' defense, remember, he was, like, he lived in Jamaica for a good time. He was, like, in Spanish town for a good, good time. And if you know about music if you're going to be a producer or anything of that nature if you know about music a sound clash really started with a dub play B and that's a that's a that's a reggae thing like but it wasn't even honestly it wasn't even when Swiss Beat said it it was more like I was listening to the, the Joe Button podcast and um Rory said it white boys said it I was like, like oh, bro. Well, Rory, but Rory too he has a whole festival right isn't he? He's the one with the festival, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, the Henny, not Henny Palooza. Now it's Do Say Something. Do Say Palooza. It's Do Say Palooza now, right? Yeah. Okay. See? And, and no things, and no things. And... <laughs> cool, no? Don't kill me. But yeah, um, I think it was dope. I think, though, that they're in a really hard spot right now. Because the 112 Jagged Ed one was trash. Trash, trash, trash. I think, yes. too, because you have all the members there for 112, it just didn't feel the same. And it was just trash, whatever. But yeah, like, how do you, what do you do next to bring that back? What, what's your opinion or what's one like that they could do? And yeah, what's your opinion on the 112 one? Okay, so I didn't watch it because I, I pressed, I pressed, the, I pressed it like literally I pressed it live and I didn't see anybody on the screen at first so I was like okay I don't have time for this and I went back to it and the wi-fi was chipping in and out for somebody and then I looked at the screen for the 112 for 112 and there was only two people there and I was like I'm not doing this and I closed it <laughs> I was like I will wait for the title playlist because that's what I that's what I had to do with the other ones that I missed because I didn't realize that this was actually happening okay. <laughs> Um, so I had to listen to the playlist, but, um, tomorrow or Sunday on Sunday, um, what is it? June 1st, 31st, something like that. No, May 31st, May 31st. Yeah. Okay. So Sunday they're doing Kirk Franklin and Fred Hammond, like mm. a gospel thing on the Sunday. And I was like, that's going to be good. Like is it that's going to be, gonna be a- oh. pardon? It's going to be Sunday morning though. No, it's not. It's going to be at five. And that's not bad because that's a night service right there. 
behave yourself. Nice service <laughs> usually starts at seven o'clock, and now that I try to give me five o'clock, that's good. But seven o'clock with you, like, yo, I and feel that's like gonna be a good vibe to like. If they see do about an- your Sunday evening, uh, it's gonna be like a good vibe to end out your Sunday evening. You don't think so? No, it would. It makes more sense because everybody can go get their pastors and their thing, like their real ones, and then they can go turn up to to that after. Yeah, it, it would be better. Mm-hmm. I think that's gonna be a good vibe. It's probably not gonna be like most streamed or whatever, but I think it's gonna be a good like a good balance of this is where music can take you, no matter. Like, no matter what, this is where music can take you. Who do you got? I got Kirk Franklin still. Like, what is it? What? Who You said Fred Hammond? That's who, that's who he's about, yeah. right? Yeah. Fred, Fred Hammond is, is Fred, Fred Hammond is good. Like, he could, he, he's, he's good. Who is he the one that said, never want to? No, 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 no. No, no, no. He doesn't have, no, 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 no. He can't do him then. Because what, what is he going to do when Kirk Franklin plays Rev- um, Revolution? Like, uh, I'm not sure, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out tomorrow, and that's why I'm that's why I'm hype. You know what I mean? Because it's gonna make you feel good. Like it's gonna, you know, it's yeah. gonna just it's gonna uplift you. And I feel like that's what people need right now, especially in the circumstance that's happening in the United States. I Yo, think this I, is gonna be good. Timing is crazy. Timing is crazy. That's actually, yeah, mm-hmm. bro. Mm-hmm. I think that one, yo, I might, I, I wasn't, when you said it, I was just like, bro, I ain't tuning into that shit. <laughs> Don't tell me. Now, about it, I might need some cleansing in my system too, fam. I might need a one, two, like church vibes. I agree. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh man. So, um, so do, are you, do you think, do you want to see any, any other ones or do you think that one will, no, I want to see Barrett Hammond and Sanchez. Okay. I want to see. Oh my gosh, I had I had them. I'm still waiting to see um, Diddy and Jermaine Dupri because I only, that's the only person that I think can really go up against him. To be quite honest, and I don't know. You think Dre, you don't think Dre will be? Good no, for this? dog. I already done said no. <laughs> yeah, smart nigga. No, I don't think so. I just think I just think that it's Jermaine Dupri and Diddy, and I only that's that's it. That's I don't know who else. I've been really busting my brain to try to figure it out, and I need to know who can go up against Snoop Dogg because I need to see that too. Snoop was saying Jay. I rather say I no. rather see Jay and DMX. No, I don't want to see that. And Janet. You want to see Beyonce and Janet? Yeah, I want to see. Yeah, somebody was saying that I could. Don't quote me. It could be Price, but I think Price said it. Uh, I don't know if I want to see that. I would want to see that still. I'm not. And not, I don't know. Beyonce has Destiny's Child. Yeah, but she's Janet. (laughs) Like, she has everything to top it. No disrespect. No disrespect, because I love Destiny's Child. But she has everything to top it. Can Janet play Poetic Justice? Of course she can. She sang it. No, I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about uh, with, with Kendrick and, and Drake. <laughs> <laughs> why are you dumb? Can she, can she do that? I was like, why are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> um, next topic here. The R&B fights. Yo, have you seen this shit going down? What are you talking about? Bro, the R&B dudes are getting busy, my fam. So, I don't know how to pronounce this guy. YK Orestis, Orestis, or whatever. Okay, yeah, him. Okay, yeah, whatever. Him. He's been going around boxing beer next R&B guys. R&B yeah, slash rap. Face- I heard he's facey. But I didn't yeah. know he was doing that. I guess he fought Tory, but the video didn't come out. But um, originally, I put out a video with him fighting little TJ. So him and little TJ had a little boxing fight. Um, the rat goof went in there, started commenting, and it was this big thing. And then Tori must have dropped his video of him just railing this guy, just beating breaks up for him. <laughs> Yo, these r b guys are getting busy, fam. Like, they need nah. to relax and keep their hands to themselves. Like. <laughs> And they want to be this big, all of them. What's wrong no. with them? 
they're doing the right things. They're doing the right thing because these niggas would have come out and start busting guns and shit. Nah, they're showing niggas we got hands. You know what I'm saying? Put them guns, put them guns down and let's see what you guys can really do. I rate that. Right. It's funny, them niggas, like a lot of them niggas can't box though. Like a lot of them niggas can't throw hands. You can clearly tell, like, if these niggas got into fights with certain people, they get crushed. But I I just rate it. Like, I rather, yo, we got a beef, or oh, you said this, yo, come, let's get it. Put on the gloves. But I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them, you're right, for fighting. <laughs> Instead of um trying to kill each other. Is there an RMB fight that you would want to see? Or even or since we're doing verses, is there, is there like a artist? Oh my god, Chris Brown and Trey Songs. The I would have said Usher and Trey Songs. No, I don't want to see those ones. I Usher, Tyrese and Tank. Usher, Usher and Tyrese. Nah, I don't want to see Tank and Tyrese. No. Why not? Because I don't want that. Thanks, D. Like, they're both diesel. I think that'd be sick. It's not about that. You don't put them together. Music, but no. It's not like that. The music is not like that. <laughs> but it's not oh about music. You know what it is? No, you know what it is? It's Genuine and Usher. That's what it is. Those are the two you put together. Genuine and Usher kick one. Genuine and Usher. Tyrese, I guess Tank, sure. But not really, because I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Yo, what about a Toronto one? And don't, don't, I'm being a dick. What about like Air, Paisley, and Nav? I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know Air, Paisley's music too, too well. Oh, no. I do know his music well. Yeah, he's a, he's a spitter, fam. I like him. I like Let's him. Get brown, Let's get the brown boys. I, I got it. Sorry. You know what it was? I got confused for a second. And I really apologize, Air, Paisley, sir. Uh, don't come for my hip top. I apologize. I mixed you guys all up. I really am sorry. I had to, I had to take it back. But it's true. I do like your music. And I'm not saying Air Paisley has beef with Nav. I'm not starting no beef thing. I'm just saying, like, the brown boys. Let's get them brown boys in. I know them brown boys like to get busy. Get Nav go. Listen, they could do it. I think they could do it. I'm like, I'm I'm a Nav fan. I like Nav. <laughs> I like Nav. I like AR Paisley. I think you guys should. I think you can go tune for tune. I think that would be cool. But I yeah, think that would be cool. I think a celebrity, a hood, a Toronto hood celebrity boxing fight would be freaking dope. Mm. Yeah, mm. I don't know. If you can, if Sounds you can a little set- violent, so I'm a little scared. What'd you say? Sounds a little violent. A little scary. And it's better than the shootings, man. It's way better than the shootings. You're right. Uh, anything else you got here? Yes, there's something. The NBA is coming back July 31st is the date that they're looking at. Mm, right? Yeah. And I believe it's at the Disney World, right? They're doing it at Disney World. Interesting. Adam's supposed th- to make Adam's Adam like like me and him are friends. I'm I really Silver. call him Adam like me and him are friends. <laughs> Mr. Silver, Silverman said that he's supposed to make an announcement um, either today, sometime around the first weekend of June or whatever. Okay. He's supposed excited? to make an announcement or first week of June. He's supposed to make an announcement as to like when it starts back or whatever. And are you excited? Where I'm very excited. But I'm sad because not all of them want to play. Sticky. It's a very sticky situation. And I'm not liking when I'm hearing like, yo, they're trying to <laughs> they're trying to do the cutoff at whatever the Pelicans are at. Did you hear about that? That's the thing. I guess that's why that's why oh that's why they're mad. Because that's why Lillard was like he doesn't want to play. Yeah, so pretty much what they're saying is. Like, they don't... There's a rumor going around that pretty much they want Pelicans and Zion in the playoffs because they know that no matter what, he's money. People are going to watch that. You know what I'm saying? Like, even win or lose, having him in the playoffs, people are going to watch. That's money for the TV deals, this and that and third. But other players and people are just like, that's kind of screwed up because then you most... I think it might even be what, like, 10 teams from the East and 10 teams from the West. So I think they might even do it like that. 
I don't even I, understand what that means. What? Yeah, so, okay, pretty much. Explain it, because I was like, you just said all of this, and I was like, all of this sounds like gibberish. What the hell does that have to do with anything? What's the issue? Playoffs right now, right? So let's just say playoffs begin right now, right? Pelicans okay. are out of playoffs. I believe they are they would be, like, 10th in the West. So what the NBA wants to do is cut off the playoff, uh, cut off the standings there at the 10th. Whatever the Pelicans are, they want to cut off the standings there and start Isn't that. It? But isn't it like eight teams in total? Yes, that's why I'm per, saying per like per like thing. So they're adding two more power. games. Get the f- out of here, based on. Uh, it, it has nothing to do with any other team other than the Pelicans. Hold on, I'm looking at the standings for 2020. They played basketball this year, right? Yeah, they played basketball this year. <laughs> they did. They played until February, until March. Yeah, I think it was March or some shit. No, February. March, March. All right, so here we go. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's what it was. So pretty much, the play- if the playoffs ended, they would be in the 10th spot, so they wouldn't even be in the playoffs, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so what the NBA wanted to do was most likely, like they're not going to, well, you never know. But the Kings and the Spurs are not going to catch up to them, right? So they're thinking you have a couple of more games, get the get the Pelicans in, and then that's money. People are going to watch Zion. Zion's going to play. It's going to be this big kid, and you never know what can happen, right? Like it's going to be Zion versus LeBron too, I believe, because LeBron was number one. Yeah, the Lakers were number one. So that would it, it was it's just a money thing. It's a money ploy. It's rigged, and a lot of people are like they were like. They're looking sideways of it because it's just like, yo, you guys are really bringing, like, the whole thing is kind of like bringing back the league for that, though. Like, we want to finish the, the thing, but we want to kind of get LeBron versus Zion. Because, you know, they never had Kobe versus friggin' LeBron in the playoffs. Which the they same all- thing, like... Yeah, but that's trash. Yeah, it is. It is. I think it's whack. I, I want them to keep it eight. Keep it the way it is. Don't change it. If you want to change it next year and have it, whatever, the, the conference's best 16 gets in and it's not conference, conference, I'm cool, but not right now. Leave it but the way. Why didn't they just like, not, not to cut you, but why didn't they just like wait? You know what I mean? Like they should just wait. Like I get that you need to play and you need to make the money or whatever, but you might as well just wait because right now it just sounds like you want to start the preseason before the season's supposed to start and the season's just about to start. So why not let them do their the preseason the way that it's supposed to happen and let the league start when it's supposed to because by October... I think that they want to get be able to bubble properly, but I understand that it's a money grab, but damn, son. Yeah, I, I think it's a lot too. Like, they want, like, you have some, play, I think you have the head players like LeBron and them saying that they want to finish the season. And that's where the problem comes in. When you have the big guys saying, like, we want to finish the season, but then you have a lot of little guys saying, well, we have families, we got to think about our families and we got to think long term instead of just coming in and just playing for you guys. I think that's where the problem becomes, right? Like, we kind of got to listen to the big guys. We got to listen to Brown guys. Sorry. <laughs> like, if Brown says go, we got to go. I guess so. But, I yeah. So. I wish that they would cancel the season and the Raptors would still be the champions. But, you know, that's another story for another day. <laughs> um, one more thing. Quick yeah. Um, So, I've been listening to a lot of albums, right? Mm-hmm. So I listened to Nav's album. What's his sophomore album, I guess they would call this. Okay. You want to give it one? It's actually really, it's a, it's a, it's a deluxe edition. It's two discs, basically. Well, no, that's how Nav is moving. I swear. And I was like, and that's why I rate it on top of that. Because I'm like, you really gave me like, you gave me, a, you gave me a lot. So I, I appreciate it. Um, I didn't listen to Smiley's um album or ep yet smiley put out an album ep album i'm not sure which one it is i just know he put i know he put out a song i didn't know he put out the album. no there's an album it's out um and I, like again guys i respect you because it's on title mm. um mm. i'm waiting 
for a mixtape to drop. For who? From who? From Jeezy Loke. Like, I'm waiting for it. Jeezy Loke. Yes. And if you don't know who that is, find out. But I know. Great. I'm waiting. It was supposed to drop. It hasn't dropped yet. And I'm still waiting. Um, who else? I listened to something else the other day. I think it was Gunna. Sorry. Uh, Gunna? I don't rock with any of these. Well, Gunna and Nav, not my peoples. That's fine. But Gunna? From, but the album that you're listening to, that's Good Intentions or Brown Boy 2? Uh, Brown Boy 2. But I feel like it's together. I have to look. Wait. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, oh, I listened to Chroma's, Chroma's, um, I listened to her EP, finally. It took me a minute. Smash huh? your is it it's actually, Yeah, Smash Rhea. It's actually really good. <laughs> yeah? It's, it's proper. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's proper. Shout out Chroma's. We love hip hop alone. Three times. Three times. But yeah, right now, honestly, not heavy onto the music. Um, it's called Good Intentions, Brown Boy 2. Mm, got you. We might do a little mm-hmm. review. But yeah, um, I got to get, I got to finish Push. Uh, shout out to Nemesis. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, Gangs of London, bro. Jesus Christ. I don't know what happened, but you froze, so I didn't hear what you said. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I got to finish Push. I got to finish that. Um, There's a new show that I've been watching, Gangs of London. Bro, that show is nuts. Where? Uh, I, I watch it on my uh, a little page that I find shows and stuff like that. I'll send you the link. Did Series 9. It? But yeah, Gangs of London, that's been amazing to me. Um, I've been taking in uh, Moolah first, a little bit of his mixtape. Um, oh, yeah, that's right, because that 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 just dropped too, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. that just dropped. Um, Let me see. Okay. Moolah, you might catch a listen if you're on title. Uh, Tona, he just dropped a new track. My track that's, was fire. That tune, holy, that tune gives me vibes, Tona. And yeah, essential talk things. Just do my essential talk interviews. Uh, part three I just dropped today. UK edition. Shout out Director Flash. And yeah, man, just trying to stay safe. Which Moolah first? What are you talking about? Um, is it Amazon? That's all oh, the track. No, he um, or Corona or COVID. He has like a a mixtape. He just dropped a mixtape like a couple of weeks ago. You talking about revenge? And it has a Toronto thing in it? In the background? Yeah, that one. Okay, that came out in March. I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna but shout out to you, Mula, because you're on title. So I appreciate you for that. Yeah. And yeah, man, that's about it. Um, be safe. Be good, people. Um, hit me up on Instagram, Gutsy Guts, on all social medias, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagrammy. Uh, hit me up if you know anybody that wants to talk to me, some essential talk. And sponsors, yo, hit us up. You got clothes, you got um, herb you want us to review. Um, you got artists' music and all that stuff. You, you got bundles that Sad, Sad wants to, you know, check out wigs and things. No? No wigs? No? Honestly, I'll wear it just for you because you sent it to me, but I'm good. But yeah, I need some summertime drip, guys. Holla at me. Let's do it. And yeah, that's about mm-hmm. it. Be out there guys uh shout out to we love hip-hop shout out six views to uncut this is our shout out zoom this is our first zoom don't worry we're not going to be doing this a lot we might but not a lot 
And yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm here. You know, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter, Savvy the Ghost. Um, look out. I'm probably going to revamp my Instagram page so that, you know what, I, it's not looking so bare. <laughs> um, and to try to help you guys out a little bit, see what I can do. I read a post the other day about what I said. Um, so if I could promote your music, if you don't have the views that you have, then I will try my best to help you as much as I can. But I'm not good at that. So <laughs> I'm I'm learning just like you are. Um, but I'm going to do my very best to uh, get your music out there also. Um, shout out We Love Hip Hop for giving us the opportunity to do this. Um, 60 to and Cut. Keep watching. Stay tuned. Got a lot coming up. Oh, yeah. And again, uh, shout out to Luna uh, Soleil. Mm-hmm. Let us know. That should, should that be the theme song? Oh, it can be, actually. Yeah, we can, we can, can put be. it for like a couple of months. Leave it there for a bit. We'll still play a, a bunch of other songs. So shout out to them. Also, I, I got something in the works with 220 on the beat that'll be coming out soon. And I don't know when this is going to come out too, but Luna Soleil had a little contest going out. But who knows when we're going to get this out. So, but yeah, shout out to everybody. We love you. Be good. Be safe. Well, we don't really love you, but support us. And yeah. Wash your hands and wash your asses and be safe, guys. Alrighty, we out. Oh, yeah.